Well, I, uh, well, I never. I'm, uh, <laughs> um, I've accidentally come to uh, Charles Dowding's house. That was a, a, bit, a bit weird. I'm on. I'm in um, in a village called um, uh, Ditcheat or something like that, uh, following the Anglo-Saxon boundary. And my other hobby is gardening. I'm a massive fan of Charles Dowding. And then I saw um, some radishes in a box outside the front, and uh, and the word homemakers on a sign, and I instantly recognised it. I thought I'd gone through. Actually, funnily enough. Anyway, the. Uh, that was, that was a bit hot. But anyway, yeah, no, so I'm here to do um, Roman and uh, Anglo-Saxon boundaries and uh, accidentally turned up at Charles Dowding's house. That was uh, really odd. But, uh, but anyway, on and upwards. This is the old, the old English um, uh, chart of uh, uh, Ditches Yeater. Uh, in, in Somerset, which is now Ditcheat. Um, anyway, the um, it, it starts um, with the old English charters only really show the boundaries of places. Never really talk about what's inside a settlement, but it's our oldest record of what um, what is out. That, you know, um, of what around you know the ancestors of the country actually thought about the landscape. So we have it says Arrest on uh, Ditches Forder on Alum, the Alum River Alum, and Ditches. Ditches uh, forder, ditcher forder means um, the ford of the of the ditch, uh, and then goes along the alum, um, and lung stream airs on uh, Mareforth is thorn, uh, Mareforth is thorn is the uh, the ford of the of the water where the thorn is, um, so that gives us a picture of what was there in you know fifteen hundred years, you know, twelve hundred years ago, uh, and then it goes to various other places which are not on the walk, but um, uh, then it goes, um, it goes down to the the brew. Uh, it's, it was called the brew in old English times. So it's end lang ditches to brew, um, and uh, from there it is end lang streamers on alum gamitha and the gamitha and the gamitha is the mouth of the the river um, alum, which comes off the off the river brew. So my walk today is is. Um, takes in some of these places, but um, I'm particularly interested in the Roman uh, settlement that's marked on the map, and also uh, what looks like a medieval bridge, but um, might be post-medieval, but anyway, let's go, and have a, let's go and have a look. After uh, all that elaborate uh, preparation, and I get to the Roman site and, and find pretty much nothing there. There is some um, faint signs of earthworks, but I think it's um, field boundaries, medieval field boundaries. Uh, what sparked me on this walk was uh, was uh, on the map. There's two pieces of Gothic lettering. One, which is at this site, which is, um, and it says Roman settlement. And a little cross, which is down there next to the river. Um... And the second one, which is uh, Bolter's Bridge, which is obviously an interesting bridge around the corner. So I tied this in with the uh, the uh, Anglo-Saxon charter. I thought I'd come and have a look, see if I could discover anything. I couldn't. There's not even... I've got the drone up. I can't really see anything that that doesn't look like um, like mowing, um, you know, tractor, <laughs> tractor tracks. Um, but it... Um, but but there is something here. It, it was dug in, I think, the eighteen twenties by a captain, some somebody or other, who, who didn't um, seem to leave any records for um, for us to see. Uh, but there was a coin of uh, Constantius uh, and an emperor I've never heard of. Uh, some some jewellery and some red and white um, terracotta squares that make up a mosaic. Um, the uh, a tesserae. Uh, so there was a, a a villa of some sort here, um, 
uh, during Roman times. Not a lot else can really be said. There's there's no mark of it that I can see on the on the ground. We did say uh, this this is inf information I got from the county history, the Victoria County history, uh, where they did a section on Roman Somerset, uh, and they did say in the really heavily drought droughted um, year, I think it was 1976. The um, they did see some um, crop marks. Uh, so uh, anyway. Uh, well, to um, make up for um, my failure to to amuse you with archaeology, I shall now read the the Lord's Prayer in Old English. Father, you are thufe, earth on heaven. See thin nama ya halyod, to become a thin rica, ya worth a thin willa. On her earth and swaswar on heaven.